Well, this was expected to be one of the tightest congressional races in this country. Sasha Leninger is live for us this morning to show you the numbers. Sasha. Uh, Todd and Royal, this news coming down very early this morning. According to the Associated Press, this was the most watched race right here in New Mexico. So if you remember, it was a rematch from two years ago. Back in 2018, it went down to the wire with days until a winner was announced, but this time a different outcome. The AP reporting Republican Yvette Harrell beating Democrat social tourists small. Big name Republicans virtually campaigned for Harold this time around. This while Torres portrayed herself as a moderate and distanced herself from the Democratic nominee when it came to oil and gas. Just having President Trump at the top of the ticket has really just has stirred the base. Um, there's a lot of voter turnout that we haven't seen in several years. And if this campaign has taught me anything, it has taught me not to be afraid to hope and not to be afraid to try. Again, according to the Associated Press this morning, Yvette Harrell has beaten social tourists small. That came down at about 2.30 this morning. This race, of course, one of the tightest there is in the country. Live in downtown Albuquerque, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. Back to you.